Hi, my name is Terry Ench Lesser. It's the Soft Dog 98.9, and I am so excited. We got a couple of guests in studio. Lily McLeod from X Factor 2013 is with us. Yay. Good morning, Woo. Lily. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. I'm excited. Absolutely. Now, you made the top eight. I did. I know. <laughs> Let me ring my bell. Ring, ring. So tell me, I, I know that you know. I was reading ab up about you, and I was reading about your history, and you've been in the music industry for quite some time. Yes, for quite a little while here. And Good luck, bad luck. It's been, <laughs> it's been a roller coaster ride for sure. Right, and there's actually you have a couple of singles out, and it, it'd be interesting to see because they're not under Lily; they're under Nicole. Nicole McLeod. Okay, but it's Lily. Nicole. Nicole Jade Arlene McLeod. <laughs> but it was like, it didn't sound right. Like, here's Lily. So I said, you know, Nicole has more of a stage ring to it. Yeah. For the top 40 music that I was recording. Right, right. And so what made you want to go to the X Factor then? Well, I actually gave up on recording. It's just like, it's, it's a crazy world. You yeah. know, just a crazy industry. And I just, I had had enough of it. Uh, I think the last... The CD that I released was in 2004, and then I just focused on becoming a really good live entertainer, and I went over to Europe, and I pretty much stayed over there mm -hmm. uh, working concerts and so forth, high-end corporates and this kind of thing. But my sister, she was, like, really pushing me because the X Factor came out. There's no age limit. Right. You know, all the other and ones were, like, And all the requirements like, about contracts and yeah, having hits Well, before. no, there is actually... Oh really? Well, you're right. There's this opening for the the type of contracts that you can you can have sure. uh, as you enter into the into the um, X Factor, and it was just a good opportunity for me. And so I went for it because I thought maybe it it was a uh, the way to get a fair shot mm -hmm. at a, a real recording deal. Right. You know? And you went on as Lily. You and I went. Lily. Well, actually, I went on, <clears throat> excuse me, as Nicole. Uh huh. But when you're doing the contracts and you write down your birth name, you know, it, it, Simon started calling me Lily. <laughs> he went on Chelsea Lately, and is, let me say, Lake? Chelsea. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea. Chelsea. He went on her show and mm -hmm. a couple other shows, and he just started talking about this one singer, Lily, Lily. And I just said, okay, I guess I'm I guess Lily. Lily. <laughs> And that's how that was uh, born. The only people who call me Lily are the bill collectors, really. And now, <laughs> and my, no. now my new angels out there are calling me Lily. <laughs> I actually enjoy using my, my real name for the first time. It's a beautiful name. It's, been, it's always been one of my favorites, and one of my best friends named her daughter, daughter I like Lily. I it now. So it's never, a great name. I've never really listened to it before, but now I like it. <laughs> so tell us some of the fun things that you got to do being a part of the X Factor. I know you probably get tons of questions like, is Simon really a jerk, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Whatever. It's all about you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Did you have a good time filming it? Did you I, have fun working with yes, other people? I had a lot of fun, a lot of stress. Yeah. Um, it was bittersweet. <laughs> it really was because you don't sleep. You, you literally go on three, four hours of sleep total. Right. Seven days a week. You have to be up at five, camera ready by seven. Uh, you can get out of there at 9, 10, 11 p.m., back to the room. You're doing social media sure. or they're requesting a song list. So, you you know, you're getting in to bed like maybe 12 or 1. Wow. And then it's just, it's hard. It and I've really heard, hard. too, that um, there was a, we had another uh, contestant uh, winner, Tate Stevens, came through. And uh, he, I think he was on the season after you. Was he not? I think so. Um, but he uh, was before. Saying, I before. Think he was before. Okay. Yeah. But he was saying that how you get stuck in a room and they leave you there. <laughs> and they're like, it'll be just a few minutes. And like four hours later, you're still sitting uh, there. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of waiting. You know, but you know, there's so much to do. Because you, I've never been good with computers and social media, Facebook, Twitter, and all uh -huh. this stuff. And I learned a lot being there because you can't drop the ball. Yeah. You know, and your fans are there excited and they're communicating and you got to reach back out. So you're busy. But there is a lot of uh, downtime in the in the building itself. Mm -hmm. you know, you're you're going through um, um, wardrobe and then makeup and then uh, uh, rehearsal for choreo choreogra choreographing the uh, staging, uh, the camera. Oh God! Uh, you know, it, it's just it's insane. Was your, your mind melting by the end of the day? Like, uh, uh, your mind think. is melting, <laughs> and you're you're praying that you can get up and do it the next day. Yeah, honestly, at least I was. I mean, I think I was. I the oldest contestant there. I think I was. 
you know. Santa Claus. Well, Santa Claus Santa didn't Claus. quite make it. How do you not let Santa Claus make it? I know, right? Santa Claus didn't make it, but um, yeah. So I mean, the kids are like, woohoo! You know, it's another day. You know, one hour of sleep that's great for them. Maybe right. it's like five hours because the makeup right. And, you know, <laughs> well, was that was hard. my next question: is is hard. working with the other contestants? Did you did you find that you've you've built some long time long term friendships? Are yes, you, you know, actually, lifelong. Yes, I do actually. I have a great relationship with Rachel Pye. Oh really? Uh, with with um, with Jeff, um, with Josh. Nice. Uh, yeah. We'll keep in with Tim. I plan on doing a, a, a duet with Tim. Oh wow! Yeah. Fantastic. And so yeah, it was a it was a love fest. Honestly, from what I understand from the um, the shows before, there wasn't mm -hmm. such a, a such a warm relationship between the contestants, right? As it was with with when I was there. You know, it was just. We really genuinely wanted the other person to win. See, and that's got to feel really good to, to see somebody that you're rooting for have yeah. a good performance. Even yeah. though you want to win the competition, of course, but you yeah. know, you don't I mean, want anybody to fall win, in their but, face. You know, you kind of <laughs> you kind of go with the flow, and you just you just fall in love with each other. And right. it, was, it was it was amazing. And I was like, mommy, <laughs> you know, it was very hard. So a lot of people would come to me and and talk to me about different things. Mm -hmm. and, and then I would go talk to God because they were too young for me to talk to them. Because <laughs> you know, it was really stressful. You have to, you're, you're vulnerable because you have to give over everything. Right. You, you can't, you can't do your wardrobe. You can't do your makeup. You can't do your hair. You, you just don't have a say. And even when you give them a suggestion, the bottom line is theirs, and it's usually theirs, anyways. You know, you just, it's boy, that it was tough very for me hard. to do. It'd be tough for me to let go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially if you're, you know, you're used to having some exactly kind of control over you. <laughs> uh, but in the in the end, I was um, very happy to to find out that I was capable of of yielding like mm -hmm. that. That's important. I think it made me a better person. Good. I hope so. Good. And and to see your success and to see. You know, you're you're on a tour, you're coming through Fresno, and before we get to your show, we've mm -hmm. got to talk a little bit about your morning. Because <laughs> you oh, had a rough morning. Boy, I had a rough morning. morning. <laughs> okay, now. As we all look across the room. <laughs> Somebody it's in my your guy life. <laughs> over there, Terry. <laughs> Somebody in your life here has uh, made you watch some TV for the past few hours. Oh, my so. God. I, I, I mean, really? I'm so exhausted. I'm tired. You know, life is fun and great. And I'm, I'm, I had a wonderful evening last night, which we'll talk about that. Uh -huh. And I wake up like like Mary Poppins. I'm in a good mood. And all of a sudden, my guy decides to turn on the television on a very destructive channel. I mean, uh -oh. it was very... I mean, there were tsunamis and, and, and earthquakes and... And the end of the world, and 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 volcanoes, and, 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 volcanoes and, and and uh, zombies. Zombies. He ended it with zombies. This is three hours of zombies eating people, and 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 the government controlling everything. And, and my fate. I can't. I might as well stop doing my CD because my life is over. It was horrible. And now when I came here today, all I could see is zombies. I swear it was horrible. It was horrible. Wow. Three hours. I need I a swear. mirror. <laughs> Three hours, and and not and he's in the bathroom, so he's got to blast the television. Oh, so there's boy. nowhere to run. Oh, no. Zombies it was horrible. This was this was the beginning of my day. So you've learned pretty much how we're all gonna go. I I, I learned how. I'm okay, gonna, just, just forget about it. I have to rethink if I want to even go any further. Where's the nearest tree so I could just go ahead and get it overhang myself? Depending on which one it actually is will depend on where you really? go. Like island for the zombie thing. Unbelievable. Or we found out because of him that they can't climb. So apparently we're supposed to go Wait, at the top higher. of the building. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I know. Listen, it was just, it was insane. I don't, and then they ask you at the end of the show, are you prepared? Are you prepared? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> apparently I need to build a wall. <laughs> that nobody in another climb. dimension. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So let's Definitely. get back to our dimension because that sounds okay. like uh, you need a break from uh, the other dimension. <sighs> Let's get back to this one and talk about why you're in town. What did you do last night? Last night, I was invited to come here to be a uh, to participate in a very important mission. I think. Okay. At Celebration Church. Yes. And they have what I would call it's concert, play, uh, delivery of the birth of Jesus, the resurrection, 
of Jesus, the fall of man, the sacrifice from the Lord to save the world, the, the, the love that he has given us, the opportunity to, to choose him. Mm-hmm. And to be a part of this was just, I just, I get goosebumps right now just talking <laughs> about it. It was amazing. I had no idea that the production was so big. It's a great church. I've heard really good things oh about that gosh. church and it's how wonderfully they do stuff. Unbelievable. It was like, you know, I don't know how to describe it. When you're looking at something and it's almost 3D, like you can literally go into the story. You, oh, wow. you, you, you get it. Like seconds the second it starts, you you get you get. There's no way not to feel something mm-hmm. when you're when you're looking at this demonstration of of who we are and who we should be and why we're here and 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 just the sacrifice, the heavy sacrifice yeah. of, of sin that the mm-hmm. Lord carried for to give us this opportunity to to choose life. So what, after after this life on earth, you know, what brought you to the church? How did you guys dis, how did you guys discover each other and, and you know work this out to where you came to town for? You it? know, I don't, they've got a good team who researched <laughs> me and found me this and probably a little help from lady. somebody above. <laughs> yeah, a little young lady, a bubbly young lady named Felicia who just yeah. got in there and started searching, and a, a young man named named. Oh my, I just forgot his name. Oh my God, <laughs> Han, Mr. Han, who uh, just thought that I might be able to to help, um, you know, put this message across. Yeah. And they decided to find me. And oh, I was so cool. grateful and thankful. It's very difficult because I come from a rock and roll uh, top 40 background. Mm-hmm. And it's very difficult for people in churches to to embrace me or to take me serious about where I'm where I'm wanting to go with my life Mm -hmm. and uh, although they were sharing with me that they were very honored that I would even consider coming I said you have no idea you've done more for me than I'm doing for you this is like wow I know this is God yeah. To have this Im- invitation. Mm-hmm. And you brought uh, Nick is here, Mr. Nick Hand. Is here, <laughs> Mr. Hand. I, you know why I'm remembering the hand? Because and I shouldn't remember Nick because Nick, I'm Nicole, Nick, you know. But let me Mr. guess. Mr. Hand, my, 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 my guy who's just, you know, the zombie. Yeah. Uh, he says, you know, just, just go. Here's the hand. Yeah. Here's the hand. You can remember it. So I got it. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> so, Nick, it's tell here. us a little bit about uh, Celebration Church. You know, yeah, Celebration, uh, we actually have two locations here in town. Uh-huh. Uh, my dad actually started the church in our home. Oh, really? Years ago, when I was just seven years old, and I'm 28 now. Uh, oh, so, so it must be exciting to see where it started and yeah, where it's at now. Exactly. We started in Northwest Fresno, started in our home with just a few people, and just over the years, it's grown. We spread out to two locations. And, um, you know, like Lily was saying, especially like on Easter weekend and any weekend, mm-hmm. the thrust of our church is, is really um, when it comes down to, to it at the end of the day, as humans, we're all the same. You know, wh- wh- whatever our choices are, whatever our belief systems are, doesn't matter what religion we are, at the end of the day, we're all looking for hope, all searching for meaning, looking to be understood. Right. Asking the questions like, why are we here? Why do we exist? What's the meaning of life? You know, and so our our mission really is to is the miss, is the mission of, of spreading hope, of showing people that there 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 is a, a better way for life that um, that God loves people despite their condition. He he wants to help. You know, and and I think like Absolutely. a lot of times the misconception is God's mad at everybody. Right, we're all here right. on this mm-hmm. earth, and God's angry at us for the way that we're behaving. And I think a lot of times people miss the message, and the message is a message of love, a mes- message of hope, a message that you can come as you are. You don't have to get yes. everything right before you come to God. He just wants you to come. And so for us at the church, that's, that's our mission, you know, to, 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 to show people, to lead them to God, to make God known and that, that, that they could do the same. And that's such a powerful thing because I think we hear that so often that, yes. you know, right. we're not perfect, we're not perfect, we're no. not perfect. But when you hear everything around it, it all then falls into place. It makes sense why we're not perfect exactly. and why we have him there for right. us. Yes. And it's such a powerful message when you get that light bulb moment right. and you're like, right. oh, it all makes sense. And it makes it so clear. It is. It really and does. When you, when you walk into Celebration Church and you meet the young men and the young women, it is like a breakthrough because you really realize 
the the statement as come as you are and to be yourself. Mm -hmm. And with me, I I always felt that this was going to be like a really uh, controversial uh, journey uh, to try to make people understand that you don't have to have the collar up to the neck and, you know, and, and just have every part of your body, you know, covered to walk into the church and you've got to be so perfect. And I was thrilled to death and I, we were laughing about this yesterday. When I got to the church, I, you know, I'm, I'm walking with the Lord, so I'm really careful and I'm scared about, the, you know, where I'm going and what kind of church is going to be and the, the mentality of these the yeah, people. Are they going to react? I'm scared, you know, because I don't me, know. Yeah. And then I walked in and, oh, oh I was going to get dressed and I was going to put on this beautiful dress. And my guy said, no, you can wear jeans. And I said, no, 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 I'm going to the church. I, you know, I have I to put on the dress because this is what, yeah. the way it is, you know, uh, religion, you know. Yeah. So and he goes, no, wear the jeans. And I came and I was really reluctant, a little nervous. And I get there, and shortly after, I meet Nick. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, for you guys and girls out there, mm. is really gorgeous, handsome, oh, you're kind uh, very intelligent you are a good looking guy, Come on. guy <laughs> with dreads. Yeah. Okay? He's a white guy, by the way. I was going to say, tats? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. I <laughs> with you're dreads. Right. And, it's, it's, and I was like, this is, like, totally cool. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be the superstar. You know, I'm a superstar. I'm in the back room I'm a superstar and when he left I'm like yo what 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 he's so cool I was just stupid when you walked out of the room it was the coolest thing ever and I felt compelled to just start talking to him about the Lord and asking him some tough questions that he answered that I've heard before and read but never broken down where I could get it mm -hmm. you know about basically really why do we have to die I just don't get it I don't get it that's and a very good question. I don't get it, and but I get I have a deeper understanding mm -hmm. after after speaking with Nick yeah. about that. And we're just glad to have Lily here. I mean, I'll tell you just from the church perspective. I mean, like she talked about a little bit uh, as we kind of put together what we're doing each year. One thing that I appreciate about her so much is when you when there's singers that when you hear them sing, you hear them sing. But then there's singers that when you hear them sing, you feel what they're singing. Right, right. And that's what she does so great. And and that she would be willing to come and be a part of what we're doing. It's just such an honor to have her here in town. So yeah. I know on, on our side, we're just thankful that she would come and be a part. And, and just offering help to people. You know, that's what we want to do. And that's what she wants to do. That's what I want um, to do. So that's just, just our hearts together this weekend are just about that. That's so. fabulous. You it's guys. a big heart. It <laughs> is. It is. And I know yeah. that, um, you know, Easter Sunday's coming. Do you guys have plans at the church? Uh, and, and tell us a little bit about after Easter, what you guys have, too, in case okay. somebody hears this on the podcast and it is after yeah, Easter. Yeah, absolutely. So this Easter weekend, um, starting tonight, Friday, Friday night and Saturday night, we have two showings at our Clovis campus. Everything's at our Clovis campus, which, okay. which is at 100 West Ashland. People can look online, celebrationchurch.cc, if they want. Um, but there's basically two, two showings each night at 6 and at 8 o'clock. Um, on Friday, 6 and 8 o'clock okay. on Saturday, and then Sunday morning at 9 and 11. Wow. at the Clovis campus there. And we're going to be doing the, the full show every time. So Lily's going to be with You'll us. You'll be busy. Yeah. yeah it can be oh, my busy. gosh. Oh, man, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> From praise and worship to the very last second. That's yeah. good. So you don't move. Yeah. You, 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 you don't want to miss any of it. You, you want to get the whole story. It's just amazing. Wow. Yeah, so then from there... Um, um, from then, from there, we have on a, on a weekly basis we have a Saturday night service and then Sunday morning services between we have a Fresno location and the uh -huh. Clovis, Clovis campus. So the best way for people to probably find out about that would just be go online celebrationchurch.cc and uh, the website is under construction right now, but they'll be able to get all the basic info and that. Perfect. Kind of stuff, Do you guys so. have uh, social networking sites, Facebook, uh -huh. anything like that yeah. too that they can search? Yeah, they so. can also search Celebration Church Fresno for for that on Facebook Perfect. and Twitter. Perfect. And all that kind of and stuff. And I'm sure you guys will you'll have photos and stuff like that, too, of oh, yeah. uh, all the fun that you're having over there with yeah. Lily. Yeah. <laughs> you have to come. I would love to. Oh, that would be fabulous. <laughs> you have to. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. And then after this, Lily, what do you have uh, going on? Do, are you are you off to visit more churches, or is this something special oh, you're doing God, like I celebration? So. I've had a few offers, so Good. we're going to see how that works out. I'm currently trying to... 
uh, finish my CD. I have a single coming out in about three weeks or so. Yeah. It should have been out, but I've decided to si sign with a independent label. So they're putting their marketing plan together, right. which pushes the release of the single back. But it's called What About the Beautiful Children? So, Lily, I have another question for you uh, that has to do with the music industry. Because I know for a lot of, uh, a long period of time, it seemed that, you know, if you were a Christian recording artist, you were over here. And if you were top 40 or rock and roll, you're over here. But now it seems in these, it seems in these times, it's really kind of, coming closer and closer together and, and these mm -hmm. these forms are merging which is good it's coming closer and closer together in fact uh, Nick in the in the show they have a song and it was, is it called Welcome to the New Age? I don't know the name. Uh, ra yeah, it's radio, uh, Radioactive by Imagine Dragons. Oh, yeah. That. Oh, yeah, it's a great song. Oh, my God. And if that's telling the story of what's happening, really, to the music industry. It's changing. Because it's, it, it's, they're still fighting. I mean, the 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 R&B the R &B want to be R&B, and the, and the rock want to be rock, but it's just coming to a point where the artists are going to they're going to set the stage of how this thing is going to go. Right. So you're you're going to be able to be multi-talented multi on your CD and, and be able to touch different markets because you want to reach who you want to reach and not have to be just stuck in, in one right. one circle. So, yeah, it's definitely going to change. And don't you find, too, seeing that the artists now, I mean, especially with the award shows and things like that that are on TV, when they're up there accepting their awards... Thankfully, they're giving their first thanks to where it should go, right? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. I think Isn't people, that something? I think people are just finally becoming comfortable being themselves. You yeah. Know, whether, it, whether it be, you know, a recording artist or, you know, a church, you know, what, what, wherever you come from, knowing that you don't have to fit within the mold, and that's okay. Right, you right. You know, that if, you, if you're a recording artist and part of your faith is faith in God, faith in Christ, that you can ha you can do that, and then you can sing about love and relationships mm -hmm. and the struggle of life just as well. The same with the, with the church. You know, obviously we want to reach our local community, but we don't want to just fit within the mold. Right. You know, we want to we help people. Yes. We want to do it all. And I think that in that, people be just being true to themselves, not being boxed in by what our mm -hmm. society says you have to be. And I think that that's what we're seeing is artists willing to, to, you know, to take the flack that comes along with that and say, this is me. Yeah. You know, and, and, I think that, and kudos right. to and the artists that, that do that in you, people. too. Yes, um, you're absolutely Because you guys, you're role models for us. Yeah. I mean, really, absolutely. you you're in you are in the limelight. You are in the news. You're in. And when the stories come out that, hey, you know, so and so. You know, it has the video of, uh, you know, somebody winning an award on YouTube, and it's being spread, it's going viral, you know, that yeah. sort of thing. It's really great to see that, and it's, it's, it's great to see it changing, and the mm -hmm. energy around it's changing, and artists are more comfortable, and the younger artists are, are seeing that it's okay. Right. Yeah, And that's a great thing to be as a role model for those younger artists, so Absolutely. thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased to be here, and, and it's my first visit here, and I would just, you know, shout out there... Uh, to everyone that if you want to um, give to something that's meaningful and a good cause, come and visit Celebration Church. You, you have to come and see uh, what they're what they're all about. It's it's you would not be disappointed uh, if you're going to give. I would definitely say to to come and check them out. Awesome. Thank you guys so much Thank for coming you. in. And Lily, thanks for taking the time out of your schedule. I oh, know you're busy. Me. It means a lot. It really does. And hopefully this will reach somebody. You never know. Yeah. It may just hit somebody in just the right spot and they'll go, yeah, I need to go. So oh, thank man. you. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> thank you so much, thank Lily you. McLeod and uh, Celebration Church. You guys doing great things. Thanks. Appreciate it. And again, your website is? Celebrationchurch.cc. Perfect. And uh, just so everybody knows, we're going to have this up on a podcast as well. So if you awesome. didn't catch uh, the whole thing, we can certainly uh, get you to hear it up on our website at softrock989.com. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Bye, angels. <laughs> Happy Easter. Yeah.